so why why get her like let me ask you this you did bachelor's in india you did masters here in concordia in montreal canada did any course in any university teach you github no all right why don't you teach github to students i was also never taught github did you ever need to use github unless you were motivated yes. yourself not because you're self motivated because of a requirement of any program. so if you work in the industry 100% no, no, before quality. before joining the well, as student um i would say yes and no so the courses don't require you to know github but if you're working in a team and you need to collaborate on the same project right right of course you need github so it's a great collaboration yeah. tool and we are saying github don't get too technical and start putting hate comments below because uh, github is a ui yeah. and you know the technology is git. git but we'll just whenever we are saying github think of git right don't don't, don't attack us on this yeah. and if you use bitbucket or any other ui platform yeah. that you, uses you are just git. weird but it's fine <laughs> I mean, if you're using Bitbucket or you know, yeah, just uh, replace GitHub with whatever platform you are yeah. platform you're using. Do you think any developer job in any company in the world, you, either it's in Russia, Italy, India, Canada, US, can exist without the knowledge of GitHub? Without the knowledge of GitHub or Git? No, I don't think so. What's the first thing a developer is supposed to do when they join a new company? Clone the repositories from whatever UI platform the company uses, right? Clone the Git repository, let's say. I still don't know why people don't learn GitHub before they join the industry and why universities don't teach it. But please, if you don't know what GitHub is, you need to learn it. It's the most fundamental way of storing your code, accessing your code, yeah. doing uh, release management, doing version control. It's a version everything. control system, yeah. Git, we see yes. So any changes that you make to your code, you want them saved somewhere, right? right? Absolutely. If tomorrow you change your mind and you want to roll back to a previous version of your code, mm -hmm. how would you do that if you just save it locally on your computer? Yeah. And let's say your computer crashes and everything's going to go, Absolutely. right? Today, like we use online versions of everything. Everything is on cloud. Mm -hmm. So why not put our code on cloud as well? And Absolutely. GitHub or Bitbucket or whatever, Git basically is the best way to put your code on the cloud. Especially someone who has no idea what Git is, what GitHub is. We are going to right now create a new repository. I will create the repository. I'll be the owner. I'll add Kritika as a developer. So Kritika will act as if she's a new developer, joined in a new company. Uh, and I have a billion dollar company and I just hired this uh, beautiful looking girl. And she's then going to make a pull request. Now, if all of this doesn't make any sense to you, it will make sense to you in the next five minutes. I can promise you that. So I'm going to hit record on my screen and let's get into it. First thing. As we have already mentioned, GitHub is a place. Let's say if you have no idea, things like version control, release management can just confuse people. If you have no idea what GitHub is, it's somewhere you can store your code. Yes, you can store your code on a personal computer, but then a company usually has hundreds of developers, at least five developers, let's say. Now, how will all five developers have the same piece of code? Because if you're coding on your machine and Kritika is coding on her machine, well, her code is different than mine, then how will we sync with each other, right? So we need a common place where you can save the code. Yeah, think of it as a Google Cloud, you know, Google Docs and stuff. Google Docs, yeah, you use. perfect. Yeah. So it's a shared Microsoft Word document if, if you are new to yeah. programming. So I'm assuming you have a GitHub account. If not, it's a free platform. Just go there, create an account. Once you do that, this is a button which is which means a new repository. Repository is like a folder or directory where you can save your code. When you sit, create a repository, it will ask for a name. So I'll say GitHub intro. I'll make it a private repository. Let's not get worry about any of these fields. They will just confuse you. I'm just going to click on create. Still public, but never mind. It's public. Yeah, I wanted it to be public. That's fine. Now, this is what I have. It gives me some commands I can run, or it gives me an option to open in GitHub desktop. GitHub Desktop is just a nice UI app. If you are new to programming and have no idea, you can download that. Or just like me, you can just copy these commands and run them on your terminal. So I'm using a Mac. If you're using Windows, that's also fine. Either way, you should be able to use this. I'm going to just paste the commands that I just copied and push. So what I've done is I've just pushed a new piece of code online. So if I refresh, you see that this repository now has a readme file, which is saved GitHub. Super simple, very, very basic concept, nothing new. I just created a file which has GitHub intro written in it. Mm -hmm. Now, if it was a code repo, an actual code repo, what would you have? 
you would most likely have maybe a Node.js file or a Java file, whatever programming language you're using, right? All right, I've opened that repository. Now, even without actually adding a code to it, let's just maybe keep it very basic, like, like what Kritika initially suggested. Right now I have GitHub intro written. Right. Now we just hired a new developer. It can be you. For the sake of this example, we just hired Kritika. I want Kritika be, to be able to come to this repository and make a code change. So now I'm going to invite the newly hired developer, Kritika Sharma, into my company's code. So I received the email here. It says, Pranav Bhatia invited, invited you to collaborate on, on the uh, GitHub intro repository. Perfect. I'm going to view the invitation. I'm going to accept the invitation. All right, so you're and in. That's good. Now you can access the whole company code, right? You're a new developer, you just got access. Now, if you have to create a new task, so I want you to change the name from GitHub intro in the readme to GitHub intro by Kritika Sharma in 2024. How, okay. As a new developer, you have to do that. So first thing you would most likely do is... Wow. So first things first, let's go and clone this repository. So I am already in the repository here, GitHub intro. So when I click on this code button, I'll see the HTTP, the secure HTTP link to this yeah. repository. So I'm just gonna copy this. Um, I copied the URL. So if I go here in one of my pre-existing projects yeah. in, on my computer, I'm gonna use the git clone command to clone the repository. I'm gonna paste the link here. Um, and the clone basically what, just creates a copy so, of the project in our personal computers, right? Yeah, so the git, up, the git commands are pretty like straightforward. So clone creates a clone or a copy on my computer. So as you can see, now I should have the GitHub intro repository created somewhere here, right? Yeah, so I already is. have it. Awesome. So I'm going to change the directory, go to the repository. Great. Okay. And now Pranav wanted me to change the text here. Yes. And I want you to create GitHub. a new branch and do it into that. Okay. Yeah. And I should have done that actually, yeah. So as a good practice, you never make your changes directly on the master branch. Right now we are on the master branch, right? So if I do a git status, you will see that now master is called the main branch. So we are on main. So I'm gonna and, check out. And just a quick intro on why we don't do that. Main branch is supposed to have the most stable and the most clean code. And usually in most companies code structure, the main branch would be private, would be secure. Yeah. And by security, we mean that no one would be able to able commit, to commit to the main branch. Commit yeah. is actually changing the code for good. Right. And uh, you usually create a request to change the code. And someone more senior to you or maybe in your team would look at your code, would see if you made any mistakes, and only then they would accept. And they would accept your code change into the real uh, main Branch. Yeah, we're going to quickly show you the whole process of what that. you just described. Yeah. So I'm going to check out to a new branch. I will not make any changes on the main branch, right? Perfect, perfect. So I'm going to use the git checkout minus V for the new branch. branch and name. then I'm going to put the branch name. So I'll just say, task um, That's it. okay, so I'm going to call it task one. So okay. that's my branch. Now you see switch to a new branch task one. So I am on this new branch now. So whatever changes I make here will be just saved to my branch, right? After I come in these. So I'm going to change this to GitHub intro. You said by? By Kritika in 2024. In 2024. <laughs> so that's what he wanted me to do. So I've made my changes. Now if I do git status, you will see the status of the file that was modified, right? So basically readme.md file was modified. So that's where you see, and you can also use git diff to see the difference in the line of code. So it was GitHub intro before, and I changed it to this, right? Great. Now I'm gonna use git commit to actually save my changes. So now I'm gonna just do a commit. And with um, the commit, uh, you complete the commit till then I explain what it is. So with the help of commit, you actually save the current version of your code and you put a message next to it. Let's say uh, if you have added a new feature, you would say uh, git commit with the message, new feature added or authentication added or heading yeah. changed. Whatever you have done, you basically summarize so, that in a couple of books. Yeah, of let's just take this example really quickly. So git commit minus A for is for all so all the changes i made i want to save them in the same comment right minus m is for the message and this is my message within the double quotes so change the text in readme file that's exactly what i did so that will be my message and now i've saved the changes so i need to push these changes 
onto GitHub, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna use Git push for that. And it gave me this command to run because I am on a new branch, right? So I'm gonna run this command, oops. Just copy that command? Yeah, I think I did. Copy, command C, and I'm gonna paste it. Yeah, okay, it worked. All right. So First that, change, new developer just made a first change. That's pretty cool. And I check the status again. Everything has been pushed. Now create a merge request. Awesome. So now I'm gonna go back right to- there. It's um, a very cool feature. You can just click here. Command, click. Yeah, okay. But I already had it open, but never mind. So now you see, this is my branch, task one, and this is the main branch. Mm -hmm. So I need to merge the changes to this main branch. So for that, I open up a pull request. Um, how do we do that? So this is the button, but before that, I can also do a comment, right? A description. So now, well, we don't need it, but yeah, you could. So let's just create yeah, a Yeah, so okay, request. never mind. So I'm not gonna do any comment or description. I'm gonna create the pull request. And can you assign it to me? And I will assign it to no, not myself, but to Prana. All right, now. Okay, me... now Prana is going to review my code and make sure everything is fine before he accepts my pull request. And once he accepts it, this code will be merged onto our main So rep. the new inexperienced uh, new developer has just made a code change. Now I being the senior developer here, want to check if that code change was actually good or not. So this is what you would usually have when you open a pull request. It is the commit message that Kritika entered. It says Kritika wants to merge one commit into main. This is the her branch one commit in the whole pull request and all the file chains would be here on the left it greatly shows you what's the previous version on the right it shows you the new version so now someone could review and say were these changes good or not now i think these changes are pretty good i think that's exactly what we needed so i'm going to accept this code change I'm going to approve them once we have approved and there you go so once Pranav has approved I have this message in here so I don't even need to refresh github see Pranav mm -hmm. Bhatia approved these changes now all right github is taking some time it's checking some things in the background that's completely fine we have already approved the changes and once we are able to merge it we would see the new readme file and I want to show you like a pretty cool thing because we could simply check what was the current version of the code, what's the new version of the code, and if ever some uh, error was introduced, you could go back to the old version very easily because you would have multiple comments. Now, while this uh, GitHub does something in the background, let's quickly summarize in 30 seconds what we did. I, being a person already existing in the company, hired a new developer. This can be you if you are a new developer and don't know what GitHub is. Then I told you that, hey, this is your first task, so please okay. do your first task. And I asked her to uh, change the readme file and you can write, see here that the readme file is now updated. Now she, because she didn't know GitHub at all, what she did was she saw this video, then went to GitHub, copied the command, said git clone, git clone will get, get you the repository in your local computer. Then basically just made the code changes and did a git commit onto a new branch and pushed it. Now I have the ability to check the new changes that Kritika made. If I approve, you'll be able to merge. If I disapprove, Kritika will update her changes. Finally, once the changes are merged, you see that this was the first commit. The status was just GitHub intro. After Kritika's branch was merged, the status is GitHub intro by Kritika in 2024. So we can actually see different versions of our code, different versions of our application, and it's very easy to manage code when you have one, two, three, or even hundreds of developers working in a repository. It's a pretty cool technology. All companies use it. I highly recommend you to start using it. You just saw like a 10 minute intro on this and there's so much more you can learn. But uh, if you learn something new, I'm very happy. Mm -hmm. Cool. So it's been merged? It's been merged, And you yes. can show the master now. The reason yeah, has been changed. Exactly. And now on my end, I can delete this branch here because it's been successfully merged, so mm -hmm. I no longer need that. Perfect.